Renowned scholar and activist Professor Rock Ajulu will be laid to rest tomorrow at his ancestral home in Bondo after he succumbed to complications of pac pancreatic cancer. Professor Ajulu will be remembered for his outstanding intellectual achievements and for the role he played in key democratic movements both in Kenya and his adoptive country South Africa where he resided since the year 1990. Friends and family gathered in Kisumu to pay respects to one of Africa's greatest intellectual minds, Professor Richard Odero Karosa Ajulu. He leaves behind a legacy of fearless courage in the pursuit of the African agenda, a pursuit that has earned respect from peers, friends and family. An academic at heart, Professor Julu boasted of an impressive portfolio that started off at the Nairobi University where he got expelled for his participation in student riots against the government seemingly following in his father Stephen Odero Ajulu's activist footsteps. The professor would later on join the ballooning socialist student movement in East Africa and then become advisor to opposition leader Raila Odinga's father, Jeromogi Oginga Odinga. As students, leaders then, they really uh, organize uh, serious campaigns uh, against the government of the day. And for that reason, he was thrown uh, in uh, jail, that he had detention without trial so, so many times. He also led the student movement against apartheid while at the National University of Lesotho. It is in those early days that he would meet and marry his wife, Lindiwe Sisulu, who is currently the Minister for Settlement in South Africa. I heard that that organization that we had started under the command of Kresani had been taken over by a, uh, a raging, uh, rabid... Um, Marxist, Leninist, uh, thunderous, um, uh, radical activist from um, Kenya. And I couldn't believe a Kenyan could be radical and Marxist, Leninist, so I thought it was just mumbo jumbo. Professor Julu attained his PhD at Sussex University and was a fellow at the African Studies Center at Lidl University, Netherlands. He later lectured in politics and international relations at the National University of Lesotho, Leeds University in the UK, Rose University, and University of Witwatersrand, and was a research professor at the University of South Africa. Far from that, he will be remembered for his persona that resonates in the hearts of many who knew him. That was rock. You would not stop him from saying or doing that which he felt was right. For all of Kenya, I think it is only a few in a generation which can achieve the kind of work that Rajulu has done in his life. I ask and pray that God will rest his soul in eternal peace. I've just lost uh, an incredible man. His life attracted a lot of attention, and that same attention is expected during his burial at his ancestral home in Bondo. Trix Ingado, KT News, Nairobi.